It's a bit different and might be wondering why there's a whole bunch of people. And that's because I joined the modded Minecraft server. We are having a bit of technical troubles in that, but I'm, we want to see if we can fix it. And I'm going to join the group chat just now. So let's see how it goes. So, nothing's going to play. Can't get the voice chat working. The VC on uh, Discord is only two people. To other people, shall I say. Bime we spawned in. We're using Bimes of Plenty. And it's just not going well. And it's currently half past nine at night. And I'm writing exams. So the real question is, how long can I play before my parents chase me off? So you are. So, I've kind of decided that for the time being, until we kind of sort everything out. Okay. So, what I've decided is, because the server's not working properly in there, for the time being, I'm just going to get as far as I can in that. Then... We can always regroup with people, try sort stuff out, and just see how it goes. After a little while, guys, <laughs> um, I've managed to get into a cave, a lush cave, and got in quite a bit of iron. I want to see if I can get some diamonds, just a pickaxe for now. And that, that'll be great. Let me see how far I can get down. And I'll catch up with you guys. And just like that, guys. Managed to find first diamonds on the server. Like, no one else has got diamonds. So, because I'm in a VC chat, or I'm listening in. They were just wondering how I already have diamonds. So I'm going to explore this cave a little bit. So I've only got two. If I can get another three maybe actually. I know I said three in total. But if I can get two extra for an enchantment table. It will be great. Let me try to find some more. I finally emerged. All of the caves. And that. So. Apparently. Diamonds are so much easier to find because of biomes of plenty. Because it makes cave systems and some of them are massive. And the one that I went into just had tons of diamonds. So, yeah, now that we've got tons of diamonds, we must just build a base some way. And not die. In the process. Me. Find a place to build the base. And that. I finally made it back to spawn. Quote unquote. That spawn of there. They wanted to build around. I have no idea where the others are. So I've started to build over here. In the rainforest. Using this man mahogany wood. Sorry. Which I quite like. And I'm using jungle slabs. As flooring and that. So I'm going to do a classic little like wood hut. So two stories. Second story is going to be the roof. So I still need to figure out what logs. But I just want to see. Because this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then I just need to make like a little balcony because this place is extremely dangerous this rainforest so this is going to be that wood out here i want to see because biomes of plenty always add yes i'm thinking of ending it here today i'll see 
what time it is in a fire court tomorrow. Because right now it's 11 o'clock. I must get to bed. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. After. These are just some of them. One, two, three. Three. Here. Probably in total 10. Wait, never. Dead. I finally got an end the chest. See ya. Hello. After just sitting in my base for a little bit, some of the neighbors came to check up on me and to see what my base was like. And of course, they criticized my, my base not being done yet. <laughs> neighbors are funny. What I'm thinking is still need to build a bit more. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do that. Then I want to make a secret basement. Oh yeah. I added Zero's mini map. Brilliant. Brilliant for modern Minecraft. One of my favorite things. Because you it shows you where you are. If you press tab, it will show you all the mobs and everything. So yeah. So I'm thinking somewhere around the place, I'll set up like a underground base where I can put my enchanting table and put some farms in that. So let me get that building and I'll show you guys. After a bit of time in that, we finally got a kind of a ground. So I just need to fix some of these. This is the roof. I was going to make it one block. But then it just went super high. Which I think this looks quite nice. And I'm going to extend it here. I found this maple log. They were using it over here. One guy's building there. So. And it looks quite nice. The wood I might swap out. The jungle. I'm still unsure. I'm still busy with the underground area. But let's see how far I can get. Me starts on that underground area. Alrighty guys. Wayne's exploring a little bit. Wait. <laughs> it's not loading in, but it's a little bit massive. Over here, I found a jungle temple. So I managed to get some sticky pistons. So me quickly redstone a little hidden base into here, around here. So it's been a little while. And I've built out the base quite a bit. As you can see, the roof's almost complete. It's just taking forever. Because I'm using this tree and they give you hardly any compared to the size. But anyways, let me show you. So I've got a little bit of an outside. Sugarcane farm, wheat farm, cows, nether portal. A little bit of like a river with that. The outside. Inside. Got that. Got the little armor stand and got a bed. Then let me show you this small little button there you press and it brings you down to the underground basement. Where here we've got a charming table that can enchant a whole bunch of stuff. I can't get a nice way out because I can't find a slide biome anyway. But yeah, then but I was exploring looking for a slime bio. I did a massive explore. Like went everywhere. And yet I can't still find it. But what I did find is a village. And over there I've got a mending and a protection for the villager ready. But I think I might end it here. Next episode. Let's get some stuff going. Oh.